Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the mighty God. Uh, we thank God for another opportunity to connect with you this evening. We say welcome, welcome uh, to our Lighthouse Empowerment Sanctuary Facebook page live. Uh, we thank God for today, our day of fasting. Uh, and even as uh, we will do this evening's service, we are looking forward to having a grand time in the presence of the Lord. Uh, so those of you that, uh, you know, are tuned in, uh, let us get our hearts uh, ready even to give, to overflow in worship, to bless the name of the mighty God. Uh, at this point in time this evening, we just want to raise our hands and bless his name. Father, we just say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. We give you the praise, we give you the honor, we give you the glory. We thank you for our time, Lord, in your presence this evening. We thank you that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. We bless you, we bless you. Father, we bless you. We rejoice in your presence knowing that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. We thank you for every victory that we have Hallelujah. received during the course of this week. And we thank you, Father, through prayer and fasting that we have come this far by your very presence, that you are our very help. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and what you are doing. We say, mighty God, as we will go into a time of worship, into a time of celebrating and exercising, expressing our love. Father, towards you, I declare that your very presence will come down and rest upon the very hearts and home of every individual that is tuned in. We are declaring, mighty God, a time in your presence through the worship, through the word, through whatever, mighty God, you will allow. We are declaring in the name of Jesus a wonderful time. We say, Lord, have thy way that it will not be the word of, a, of an individual, but it will be your spirit putting words in my mouth as I will minister. I thank you for sweet Holy Spirit this evening, and I bless you, mighty God, for what you will do in the midst of your people. I declare strength. I declare an attitude to worship. I cancel every distracting spirit in the atmosphere in every home. Lord, that they will give you that full attention, that quality time as they will sit with their family. Father, Father, at the table or wherever they are, Lord, to honor you in this time. We pay reverence and we say, Lord, have thine own way. We bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. So saints of God, welcome, welcome. We thank God that it's Thursday and we are live for our deliverance service. The Lord has been good to us, better than we can ever be to ourselves. So we are rejoicing and we are blessing the name of the Most High God, for God is an awesome God. So even at this time, we will go into a time of praise and worship, adoration to the Most High. So let's put our Holy Ghost hands together as we will welcome Sister Crystal and Pastor Chris as they will take us into a time of worship this evening. Hallelujah. Father, we just bless you and we give you glory. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord.
describe you, Jesus. You are amazing, you are amazing, Lord. Hallelujah. I stand in love of you. Jesus, we just bless you tonight. We just bless you tonight. It is. 
sacrifice of praise and saying thank you our Abba. Thank you Lord for what you have done and what you are doing. Mighty God we bow in your presence saying thank you, thank you, thank you. King of kings, Lord of lords, Lion of the tribe of Judah, we bless your name. Oh Father, we bless your name. Jesus, we love you. We magnify your name. We bring worship, worship, worship. We bring worship unto you. We say thank you, Lord. And we give glory. We give honor. We give praise. Saturate us in your anointing. Everything that have distressed you, that have made you disquieted, we declare in the atmosphere it is changing right now. That so through the power of the mighty God, the rain of his presence will crush. The light of heaven, Jesus, will crush every power of that in this very moment. Somebody receive your healing. That have been crying out for help, for healing and for deliverance. Lord, let your healing rain fall upon the people tonight. Tap in with great faith. Oh, baby, say, me. Somebody receive this evening as the floodgates of heaven 
I curse every scorpion-like spirit that have been plaguing the back of your neck and moving around. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command healing. Yes. When it is moving, even right now, I command your healing. I curse the powers of darkness that have caused even a dysfunction in your body. And I'm declaring full healing in the name of Jesus. Receive. 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 I declare in the name of Jesus you are being made free. Yes. Right now you are being set free of the powers of darkness. Serpents and scorpions, all the power of darkness. God has given us power and authority. Yes. We bless you, Lord. Jesus. We bless your name. We speak the peace of the mighty God. Yes. And we say thank you Jesus. for a victory. We say thank you, Lord, for a victory. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You know, in the time of prayer, the Lord showed me while I was just worshiping. It's like a literal scorpion. And I'm seeing it and I'm seeing, you know, uh, the legs. I'm seeing the actual thing and it's just walking up the person neck and have them very uncomfortable and they're feeling like it's something moving. The power of darkness must flee at the name of Jesus. So whoever you are, we declare from this time, there shall be a wind of change. And you have received your victory now yes, in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. When the power of God is present, darkness is free. Mm. To our sister that is struggling, even with demonic invasion, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes, fire to the powers of darkness. Yes, Every wicked spirit that have held you hostage for a time and season. Every deceptive spirit, I'm declaring that right now, season, as it has begun to change, it, there shall be a transformation. I command them to loose you in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, bring them out in the name of Jesus. I'm declaring fetters are broken tonight yes, in the name of Jesus. Every fetter, every fetter, every fetter, every fetter, is broken. Uh, I declare captives are being made free this evening. Uh, for it is our time of deliverance. Uh, it is our time where Father God uh, is touching his children uh, through Jesus Christ. Uh, we are declaring right now God's presence is like heaven to you. Uh, a release from the heaven into your very very homes and into your very bodies. Uh, I declare healing, 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 healing. Uh, healing that person that is feeling like things running through your body right now yes, I declare to the power of prayer you are receiving the fullness 
of your healing. Yes, yes, Lord. yes. Like the body is tingling, I declare healing right now. Well, complete healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. To the sister with the hip problem, I don't know you, you didn't tell me, but God is saying lay your hands on the hip, whoever you are, whatever part of the globe, God is saying lay your hand on that area. I speak to that condition now. Yes, and I declare complete restoration. Complete restoration. As it was, even as the apostles walked with demonstration, through this virtual meeting, there's a demonstration of God's power. So people will see and know that the God that we serve, He is able to do exceedingly abundantly. Yes, receive it in the name of Jesus. When there have been excruciating pain at times, you feel like, uh, you know, uh, it's like two bones, you're saying, like it's like the bones there, uh, you know, meshing together. It's uh, like friction, uh, and God is saying healing. Healing for you this night. Yes, healing for you. Move, walk in the name of Jesus. Yes, you can do it in the name of Jesus. Uh, I declare God's power is breaking fetters. Yes. Father, we say thank you. And we bless you. We give you the thanks and we give you the praise. Hallelujah. 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 We give you glory and we give you thanks. Father, we take a moment to pray for all, Lord, that we were unable to connect with at this time that have been a part of the ministry. Yes, Lord. And we are declaring, God, that your divine hand of mercy, grace, truth, and protection will continue to be upon them. Even in this prayer and fast, as we continue to do what you have mandated us to do, we are declaring through this streaming live that this prayer is reaching them in their very homes. Yes, sir. I'm declaring strength and I'm declaring, Father God, your unction of the Holy Spirit be upon them yes, to bring rest, rescue, and restoration. I declare holy fire in the name of Jesus. Holy fire in the name of Jesus. Yes. Even for our elderly mighty God. You know that by name, we are declaring, Father, touch. Minister grace. Minister healing. Father, that they will be encouraged in this time. Where they may be in homes, Father. Or where they do not have others to take care of them. Or who choose, mighty God, to neglect their responsibility. Lord, give them strength and give them comfort. That even mighty God, those that have compassion, uh, will be able to attend to them in this time. Uh. Yes, Lord. Father, for we know that the defining uh, factor of the believer's life is love, just as uh, our God, you are love. Uh. Yes. We just thank you, God, and touch for those that have become a uh, father, a part of our live stream, uh, our live stream family. And uh, Father, they may not belong to the church, I'm declaring a blessing on them tonight. Yes. Even as they are tuned in, I'm saying, Father, the time that they take to tune in, uh, Lord, uh, no investment in your kingdom, Father, shall be wasted. Uh, and I speak right now the blessings of the Lord, the power of the mighty God. Uh, enrich their lives now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, declaring a wind of change where they have situations that have been, uh, Father, adverse, uh, Lord, I declare the atmosphere turn around. I declare strength. And I declare the healing virtue of the mighty God. Provision. I declare whatever they have. Lord, that even right now, you are able, God, to cause it, to stretch until that time that they can face the grocery yes. or clear their bills or whatever is necessary. Yes. I'm declaring, God, it shall be multiplied in the name of Jesus, for you are the God that is able. I declare complete supernatural provision. We speak in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we declare it so. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Saints of God, we thank God for an opportunity to be in his presence. Amen. And we bless the name of the Lord. Let's put our hands together for King Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is an awesome God. King of kings, Lord of lords. And we bless his holy name. And truly it's a privilege to come into your homes and to be able to minister the word of truth. So this evening we want to look in our Bibles to the book of Matthew. The first book of the New Testament, Matthew. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. I trust that you have received from the time of worship and the time of prayer as God would have had us in. Sometimes it's just a matter of connecting. You know, uh, all you need is an agreement. Yes. It's called prayer of agreement. Uh, and I was agreeing with people who need their breakthroughs. Uh, and those uh, that anchor their faith in the Lord actively would have received. There is no reason uh, for you not to receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. You have to understand uh, that this thing is serious business. Uh, serving God is not games. Uh, serving God uh, is uh, literally... Uh, accepting uh, what he says and doing it uh, because he is truth. Uh, God is able to do what no other God can do. Uh, and you know, I have I've seen and experienced a lot of people being discouraged with a lot of ministers and ministry. I want to say to those that are looking on this evening, uh, God has not done anything to harm you. Uh, so in your discouragement, always remember to encourage yourself in the Lord. Why? He paid a price. Uh, what we deserve, he did not give us. Uh, we deserve the death penalty. Uh, but he released mercy. Uh, he released grace. Uh, grace gave us his unmerited favor. We were favored, yet we didn't deserve favor. Because uh, we chose darkness rather than him. Uh, and God has seen it fit. Uh, so in your times of discouragement, uh, forgive. Uh, whoever have uh, trespassed uh, you know, against you or hurt your feeling, uh, your hurt always remember your hurt uh, is not bigger than the ministry that God has given to you. Uh. Mm -hmm. So don't fo focus on the hurt. Uh. Focus on your ministry. Amen. Uh, because if you remain hurt, there is no ministry. Mm -hmm. In ministry, pastor, is motivated by love. And if you don't have the love, uh, you cannot go forward in ministry if you are hating people on the inside because Amen. you remain hurting. Amen. Uh, the heart, that organ, we just have to release people, whatever is happening. Amen. Uh, every day with Jesus, if you have that connection, is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, you will grow to love him more and more. Amen. Amen. So, child of God, we thank God for all of you again that are tuned in, that will type your praise, bless the name of the Lord. You know, and even before this virtual conference starts, every Friday, Lighthouse family will have something called... The Lord put it in my spirit a while back. Fire Friday, type your praise. And I say, look how it literally come to pass that uh, it is not the Fire Friday, but on the Thursday and the Sunday, we are typing our praise to the mighty God uh, and whoever you may be connecting or tuned in with. Uh, so we thank God for those that are tuned in and not, uh, you know, you can type your praise uh, and you are typing and you are not silent. Uh, I know some of you can't and we thank God for you that are tuned in. Uh, and even the ones, uh, you know, that may not be able to tune in, but they find out what's happening uh, yes. and if they can get it, we say, God bless you, we love you because uh, the connection is there. Amen. Uh, Amen. So continue to type your praise to the sharers. We thank you um, for even sharing so that others will be blessed. Amen. Uh, Amen. Continue to do the work of God because in this time, this is how we share the gospel. As I said on Sunday, remember understanding the redemptive work of Christ. So one of the things is we have become a witness. In you sharing, you become a witness. Uh, as God lead you, so shall it be. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for all to the ministers that are tuning in this evening. Uh, God bless you richly. We love you with the love of the Lord and we continue to connect uh, even via the word uh, and as God will lead. So this evening we are looking into the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 8. Amen. I trust everybody Bible have Matthew, the first book. Some people Bible are so new and crisp because it's not being used. I trust God in this time you're using your Bibles, the B-I-B-L-E, and that's the book for me. Amen. To read and pray and then obey, the B-I-B-L-E. You know, uh, when you look at life and history, Junior church or Sunday school, it's a foundation for men and women uh, that will literally grow and glow in Christ Jesus. I started uh, in Sunday school, uh, and uh, Sunday school is a good place to begin. Amen. Uh, even better from the womb and uh, uh, families, uh, you know, if they are saved. Uh, but child of God, I want to share something with you and friends that are tuned in this evening. Uh, this is our deliverance night, and... Uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of demonic invasion that takes place in the life, even of believers. Uh, 
Some people say that uh, it is impossible for a person that is saved uh, uh, to become literally possessed or, you know, where the enemy could take them over. But because uh, you feed more sometimes on the flesh than on the word, uh, possession we have experienced does take place. Uh, uh, they tell you that they were an intercessor in a local church. Uh, we see what, that they were intercessors sometimes strong and praying. Uh, and then something happened. I had that experience recently with someone. Uh, listen to me, child of God, Satan is not afraid uh, of the time you used to pray. Amen. True. Amen. He's not afraid of the time you used to worship. Mm -hmm. Listen to me well. It's not used to. It's continually in the place. Amen. Because when you continue in Christ, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Satan is cunning. He's crafty and he's sly. But God has made a way. He came on the scene to give us life and life more abundantly. Rejoice in the life that you have. Rejoice in the God of your salvation. Favor knows our name. Favor is seeking us out. His blessings is running after to us, uh, the blessings of the mighty God. Uh, so you as a child of God must position yourself. Uh, your positioning uh, will get you, uh, you know, the perks and benefits of heaven. Uh, you cannot uh, be in an estranged place from God and expect to get his perks and benefits. True. You gotta come with him. Amen. Yeah. You gotta run with God. Uh, yeah. Not against him, but with him. So the Bible says from verse 5. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. From verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Hmm. When you look at that, but it continues. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Hallelujah. Lord, I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I have not found what? Shout it out to me, church. From your homes, I will hear you. I have not found what? So great faith. So great faith. No, not in Israel. Hallelujah. I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. This is coming from a man that is a Gentile, who the Jews will put down. The Gentiles and the Jew, they had a lot of friction. Amen. This was a Roman centurion. They call him centurion because he was over a hundred soldiers, right? Uh, we know normally a hundred is a century. So he was a Roman centurion. And he was over these soldiers. So he was a man, as he said to Jesus, I'm a man of authority. But this man, it didn't matter the, the race. It didn't matter the friction that was between the Jew and the Gentile or the Jew and the Roman people. This man swallowed pride. This man said, I am going on behalf of my servant. Yes. And I'm not just going. I'm going in faith that my servant will receive. Listen, this man didn't have an obligation to his servant, but he picked up one because his servant must have been faithful. Your faithfulness will cause others 
to launch out before people uh, where they have troubles with uh, or they have tension uh, and they will go and fight your battle. Listen, uh, the man was lying down home. Uh, he was sick to the point of death, the servant uh, at the centurion's house. Uh, but the centurion said, Lord, uh, just speak the word. Hallelujah. What faith is that? Uh, great faith, as I said to the church. Uh, some have shipwreck faith. Uh, some have little faith. Uh, some have no active faith. Uh, but some have strong faith. Uh, but I choose to walk in great faith. Uh, the Lord himself said, I have not seen so great faith uh, in all Israel. No, I have not seen it. Uh, hallelujah. And they were not of the Jews that possessed that faith. Uh, listen, uh, whoever is trying to put you down, uh, God have opened the floodgates. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The curtain was rent in two when Jesus died on that cross. Uh, hallelujah. I rejoice uh, through the power of the name of Jesus. Uh, we can speak the serpents uh, and scorpions uh, yes. and all the power of the enemy. Hallelujah. They have to flee. The fight that they want to put up is because they want to stay where they don't belong. Uh. But in the name of Jesus, uh, we declare every wicked thing must flee. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. You got to be excited about your God. Amen. Amen. Serving God is about love, is about mercy, compassion. When you look in the Word of God, Bible says here, He have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. That's verse 10. And then he said, And I say unto you, this is Jesus' words, you will see it in your Bible, some of you, it's in red, that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham, and he's speaking about the Gentiles, and Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Listen, when you, when you strip the word of God, when you rightly divide the word of truth, there will be excitement in the atmosphere. We will have such great opportunities. You know, some people say, I do not know what heaven will be like. Whatever it will be like, it certainly will not be like earth. Amen. It will be beautiful. Because the Bible describes heaven, even when you go through the book of Revelation, you must understand something, that this is our dress rehearsal room. And here is where God has impacted our lives uh, so that we will honor him. Uh, when we go across there, we will just continue the flow of what we started down here. And most people don't want to start down here. They want to wait until they reach the pearly gates uh, and here depart from me and begin to beg. No time to beg. Salvation is for the earth. The sun is for the earth. Heaven doesn't need a sun. Heaven is the word. This is the word. Before he became the son manifested in the flesh. He was the word. Hallelujah. Got to understand there is no sin in heaven. So heaven doesn't need the blood of Jesus. Heaven has Jesus himself, which will he is the word and which will he will be our judge one day. Listen child of God, be excited about your God. Anybody excited about their God? We get sometimes too caught up in our problems and in our issues of life. Uh, we need to get caught up in the word of the mighty God. Uh, we need to spend some time with Jehovah God. Uh, we need to fire back at the devil. Uh, we need to fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, not take shots, uh, but release according to prayer. Release according to worship. Uh, release according to praise. Uh, why? The times that we live in, uh, the Bible tells us, uh, put on uh, the armor, the whole armor of the mighty God. God, why that you may be able to stand against the wickedness, yes. the wiles of Satan. For Satan will come and he will try to take us out for no reason. I see people have been crying, you know, and they're saying they don't know why, they don't know why so many things have been happening in their life. But listen to me, there is a devil. And let's face it, we have the tools, we have the equipment. God has placed all what we need in position. All we have to do is stay in great faith Amen. and in obedience to his word. You see, you can't want the world 
and the word. You have to choose one and hate the other. Hallelujah. You cannot live in both worlds because then you will be a man like schizophrenic or bipolar. We are not bipolar. We are standing firm on the word of God. We are not split personality. Our character, if our yea is yea, our nay is nay. If we are serving God, we are serving God. We are not confused. Hallelujah. Get clarity. We are not confused. If you are a Jesus man, you are a Jesus man. If you are a Jesus woman, you are a Jesus woman. If you are a Jesus boy or girl, you are a Jesus boy or girl. But you are not confused as to who you are. Anybody confused, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus that there be clarity. Hallelujah. I am a Jesus woman. Hallelujah. The God of our salvation, he has given us enough and he has given us all that we need to be completely successful. Amen. Obedience to the mighty God will give us the blessings. You look at your life and you complain a lot. But did you see and give God thanks for what he has already done for you? The fact that you are opening your mouth and murmuring to everybody, anybody you meet on the street or in the home or wherever, it says that God has been merciful. It says a lot. Child of God, do not complain. Comply with the instructions from above. One day, you know, uh, it's going to be a great day. We are seeing the stage in, on planet Earth is being set for the coming of the Lord. I'm excited. Jesus is coming again. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Say what you want. Do what you want. Don't believe it, believe it. But Jesus is coming again. The word says it and that settles it. I take his word as final authority. And child of God, just like they didn't believe when Noah preached, they thought he was an old man, confused. Listen to me, I'm not confused. I have clarity because I know the God that I serve. You may think that it's a joke because you hear the story. It's not a story and a fable. It's truth. He is coming again. But it's not dependent on what you think. God has already set it so that his son will come to take his bride away. Hallelujah. I am going up. Hallelujah. Higher and higher with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we are going up together in the name of the Lord. For those that will choose God, we're going up together. Hallelujah. This man, this centurion man, hallelujah. When you look at it and we come back, uh, hallelujah. Bible says, and when Jesus was entered, listen. So Jesus was going into this place, uh, and uh, this centurion man, this soldier, or Roman soldier, he had great faith. Child of God, you're going through a situation. Do you have faith to come through? Yes. Amen. Do you have that faith to come through? Amen. God is able and he wants to do what no other God can do. True. Hallelujah. God wants to do only what he can do. Amen. Amen. And the thing about it is that you have to trust. When God gave his only begotten son, it's an act of love. Amen. So we have to operate from the dimension of love like God and mercy like God. You cannot say you love and there is no mercy. God love, love is a verb, it's an action word. And you know what? It followed through with his grace and his mercy. It's the same thing. When we say we love people, uh, when they do us wrong, we will have to show, uh, exhibit that quality of mercy so that God could restore. God wants to restore. But if you stay hurt, you cannot go forward. Don't pay attention to the hurt. Amen? Amen. Deal with it according to the word of God because when God forgives... He forgives, with the, he forgives the individual, which is the sinner, and he addresses the sin also. He removes the sinner, and he washes the sinner, and he makes them whole again. He makes them anew. When your clothes is dirty and you play a game of football or cricket, and you would use whatever detergent to wash and your white become white or 
whatever colors become brilliant again, you're excited. You thought the dirt would not have come off. But listen, Jesus' blood is way, way stronger than what detergent can do. He will wash your sins far, far away as far as the east is from the west. Jesus' blood is the remedy. Jesus' blood shall never lose its power. Many of people believe the blood don't have power because they want it now. I got news for you. The blood has power. The blood of Jesus holds power and authority. That's why this centurion man, he knows when Jesus was walking through Capernaum, he knows something was about to happen. Amen. Amen. He had that confidence. He was a man of authority. He was a man. You know, sometimes you have to go for somebody for something and you don't want to go because there's some tension. This man swallowed all the pride with the Jewish people that it had. And he's saying, I am going on behalf of my servant. And I'm not just going. I am going in active great faith. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a shout in your home. Somebody give the Lord a clap in your home. Somebody just bless the Lord. Hallelujah with me. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. You see the times and season that you live in, you got to recognize that the power of God is for today. How many of you believe that the power of God is still for today? Amen. The power of God is for those that will believe in him and follow his instructions. Yeah? Amen. You must know that everybody will not accept what we believe in. But we are empowered to evangelize and let people know Jesus is Lord and Jesus save. Amen. And what he has done for us, he can do for them. Amen. So what we are doing here also is evangelism because we are called to win souls into the kingdom. Hallelujah. This man, because of his faith, you know, the Lord looked at him and it was amazed in the sense that, listen, I have not found such great faith in Israel. No, not in Israel. And he had to give them a little lecture and say, some who are expected to come yes. and eat and dine with Abraham and Jacob and yes. Isaac, yes. they won't be there. Why? They renounce my name yes. and they renounce my power. But there are going to be some that are going to be there who you don't expect. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Some wouldn't expect us to be there because they believed the kingdom was just about them. But God has engrafted us into the kingdom yes. with his good word, his pure word. Hallelujah. Yes. Something to rejoice about about yes, hallelujah yes. hallelujah we have a home we have a mansion you may not live in a mansion down here but there is a mansion over on the other side hallelujah yeah. you live the life you get the perks and benefits serving God have perks and benefits hallelujah we don't serve him just for perks and benefits but we serve him because he first loved us so we give love to our master and in loving there will be service because when you love there is a Act of commitment to serve and when we serve God is going to bless and he will bless beyond the measure the blessings of the Lord my Bible tell me it makes rich and add no sorrow with it hallelujah the blessings of the Lord make it richer Bible tells me that the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord and he delighted in him hallelujah child of God let your step be ordered by the mighty God it's time to rejoice in your God. It's time to know the God of your salvation. Yes. Stop wasting time. Amen. Hallelujah. Every news channel or every channel you put on, you will see something about the current pandemic. Mutations and different strain of the virus. Hallelujah. Hmm. Corona or no corona, we still got to serve Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you want to go to heaven. Amen. One day, if you want to dwell in that place, people say, you know, I have heard some folks say, this life is real hell. No, this life is just on earth. You want to see real hell, don't serve the Lord. <laughs> I'm telling you, one day you will experience real hell. But that is not God's plan for anybody. He says, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish. perish but have everlasting life. I choose everlasting life. I choose 
to walk by faith and not by sight. I may see the negatives and I may know that it is the facts. But I also know that I walk by faith and not by sight. And truth is Jesus Christ. And the fact of a report may say that you got a dreaded disease. But the truth is, by his stripes you are healed if you will activate your faith. I've seen healing in great dimension take place. Instant healing, progressive healing. I've seen turnaround in situation in family and in home. We have families at the local assembly where we have seen powerful turnaround. We have seen situations where it looked like people wouldn't come together. They will separate in divorce, and we have seen the hand of the Lord. Listen, yes. it's deliverance night. You may be in a situation and looking at me this evening and listening to me. Listen, we have testimonies where God has been real to people, and God has turned their family around. Where people are at the brink of death, God has given them life again. He has given them extension. We have seen where the enemy come in and suppress people, where they were demon possessed or they were oppressed of the devil and God just delivered them. We rejoice in the God of our salvation. And when you look at that scripture, you know what the Bible said here, what Jesus said, he said in verse 12, but the kingdom, but the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into utter darkness. What a thing. Those who think that they would make it and not follow through. Listen, you have to follow through in obedience. People say one save, always save. That's not the Bible. Show me the scripture that says one save, all, all, always save. Uh, Peter would not have uh, written what is stated. Uh, because he said also fashion yourself after God, little children. God is fashionable. His fashion, as I always tell the church, is holiness yes. and righteousness. Amen. Uh, you got to be fashionable with Christ in this time. Hallelujah. Amen. People could say what they want, uh, but if you are doing it right, you have a uh, uh, hope, you have a collection to receive on that great day. We have seen so many sad things with people leaving this life, but where are they going? Uh, they are all dressed up when they are dead. Uh, families dressing them up to look good, but where are they going? Uh, is it to a Christ-filled eternity or a Christless eternity? Saints of God, it is mandated that we share the gospel uh, and we be light everywhere. Not trying to be light when the pastor is around, or a leader is around, or an intercessor. We are called light. Live the life of Christ, and you shall be light everywhere. Amen. Amen. When we look further down in the scripture, coming down, Bible says, There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth for the castaway. They will be in utter darkness. It's not going to be a pleasant time. It's not going to be a peaceful time. Even though you say, Listen, I don't care where I go. Your words will be able to come back and haunt you. Why? Because you had an opportunity to make it right. You need to care where you spend your eternity. You need to care how you live your life. Because we shall have to give an account. We will have to give an account for our life. And one thing I want to say to the church, and I want you to hear me good and those that are tuned in. You can be born into a Christian family or a Pentecostal family. Right? Uh, before... Arnaldo Conliffe and Crystal Conliffe came into the world. Uh, Pastor Chris and myself, we were believers and we served the Lord. And we continue to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth as is demanded of us. It is not a request, it's a demand. When you take the name of God, make him proud. Amen. But they came into the world. And as they came into the world, we would have given them from the womb the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, as I said on Sunday, one has reached 18 and one has reached 21. But the thing about it, they are age of accountability. But one of the things I want all parents to hear and hear well, eternal life is not inherited because you have God-fearing parents. Amen? Eternal life is through your confession, my dear Crystal, my dear Arnaldo, and the rest of those that are on live stream, Amen. young people and adults or parents. It is through confession of your mouth, the Lord Jesus, believing in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. And following through in obedience will give you eternal life. In the natural life, they will inherit what we have. If we have a house, if we have a car, it's a natural inheritance. Spiritual things, God will do some things for them because we have stored up treasures. 
But you see, with eternal life, they have reached that age of accountability. They will have to make that choice for themselves. Yes. Hallelujah. They cannot inherit that through their parents' per se eh, lifestyle. They must follow through with the same godly lifestyle. They can't pin it on Crystal say, ah, mom's was a true believer. And I know if she's going to heaven, no matter I will do my little sin, I know I can ride, I can piggyback and get something and God will open. No, no door opening, sister. You have to live holy. Amen, somebody. Amen. So you have to live holy, fully holy. That's why sometimes people say, apostle is harsh. No, I'm not harsh. I want us to go just as we are family of God. We will go to him as that family. Amen. Amen. So knowing you have to make a choice. Yes. Amen. They can't pig piggyback on eternal life. It must be a choice. Right, Pastor Chris? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And I just want to, as I'm about uh, you know, uh, to close, I just want to go down further and show. Verse 13 says, and Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. And look what the Bible says. You know, faith is a powerful thing. Faith is a powerful thing. And his servant was healed when? In the self same hour. He received an immediate cure because his employer the one who has authority over him, I am sure it's because of faithfulness and not wickedness. Him, uh, that centurion uh, man went out on behalf of his servant. Your faithfulness will cause you to be blessed. Will cause people to fight your battles while you lay in a place and you cannot fight. Uh, you, when you look at it, it is a whole uh, scenario of what Jesus can do. Uh, and when we swallow pride uh, and don't let it get in the way and make the right connection, uh, we will receive the healing uh, that we desire. We will receive the supernatural endowment uh, to raise the dead. We will receive what we need to go forward. But everybody on the team must be running holy. Everybody must be running righteous. Uh, and we saying fire to the enemy yes. in the name of Jesus. What will stop us? Nothing because we're pressing in in great faith in the name of the mighty God. The self same hour he was cured. And let's look at chapter 9 verse 1. I was looking at something there and when you look at it, uh, the word of God is full of power. You know this paralyzed man in chapter 9. As Jesus entered into the ship and passed over and came into the, his own city, behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their fate, said unto the sick, Now, why would you think these people <coughs> excuse, would bring a palsied man to Jesus? Like the centurion man, they had the faith. Amen. They had the faith and the up here, the knowledge to know if we could only put this man in position, yes. this man will receive yes. something. This man will receive something. Child of God, they won't show the people of what Jesus was about to do. And look at what Jesus did. Jesus seeing their faith, so faith was present. Amen. Amen. Jesus is looking for your faith, saints. Hallelujah. Is he seeing faith or is he seeing doubt? <laughs> if he's seeing doubt, you need to throw it Shut out. out. Yes. Amen. Yes. Faith, faith, faith your way through. Amen. Mm -hmm. Faith your way through in the name of Jesus. So Jesus seeing their faith said unto the sick. Oh, here come the respondent part now. He said unto the sick of the palsy. Son, be of good cheer. Be encouraged. Ah, thy sins be forgiven thee. Oh, my goodness. You know, the scribes, they began. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemed. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think you evil in your hearts? For whether it's easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, 
or to say, arise and walk. Now, some things, as we will see in the book of John, is not because of sin. Because the power of the mighty God must be seen. This one, what did Jesus say? Son, be of good cheer. Thy sins be forgiven. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you have to know in your journey as you are going, you want God to heal you. But you don't want to ask forgiveness of your sin. Forgiveness is important yes. in this journey. Just as for God forgive, we forgive and we press. We press in faith. So when he said that, the scribe, these people, they were in a place that they couldn't understand. So Jesus addressed it. Hear what Jesus said. But that you may know that the Son of Man had power on the earth to forgive sin. Hallelujah. Who just said Jesus don't have power to forgive sin? He does. 100%. It's in verse 6. It's written in red. But that you may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sin. Hallelujah. And he did a divine demonstration by telling the man yes. that. Hallelujah. You need to receive. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then said he to the sick of the palsy. This is the moment they wanted to see first. They didn't want to hear forgiveness. They didn't want to hear thy sins be forgiven thee. They accused Jesus of blaspheming. Because they think they know the word better than the word. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You can never know the word of Christ better than Christ himself. So Christ was with them. He was among them. And they were taught about the coming Messiah yes. when they read from Isaiah, yes. when they read from Jeremiah, yes. and they read of all that is to come and happen. Now the word is flesh in front of them. And they are saying, look, this man blasphemed. <laughs> and this is the word that they are looking for. Yes. Sometimes God is in the very presence of you. And you can't even receive him. These people couldn't receive him and what he was doing. Child of God, you need to receive. Know God so you can receive yes. from God. Amen. And Bible says, arise. The latter part of verse it. Take up thy bed and go unto thy house. And he arose and departed to his house. In obedience, basically, immediate cure again. This is a this book shows a lot of miracles that Jesus performed. Coming down, he said, but when the multitude saw it, they marveled, they were astonished, amen, and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. Hallelujah! So, child of God, understand something God has given us power. In that he has called us to a place where we must show compassion and mercy, charity, love. Elios in the Greek. Elios speaks about compassion. It speaks about mercy. That's why I was telling you. If you do not have love, you cannot perform your duties as a believer. Because you will not show forgiveness. Only through genuine love. You can receive, release forgiveness. Jesus had compassion. He loved people. Do you love people today? Yes. Amen. Amen. Do you love people today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. You know, today I was talking, I was speaking to an elder. And sometimes she would just call me because she just wanted to, you know, chat with me. And just pray and I will pray for the family. And I was just speaking to her, and she was just telling me her life, and I thank God for her. And she was saying, you know, Pastor, I just love to help people and to show my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, an elderly person, advancing age. And I was listening, and I'm saying, to me, as a minister of the gospel, it is so beautiful when you can listen and see the genuineness of men and women that have become advanced in age and still love to glorify God. Hallelujah. They're not waiting only for a miracle to glorify God. Mm. But on the phone, she was glorifying God. Mm. She was blessing the name of the Lord. She was giving God thanks. How about you? Are you waiting for a miracle to give God glory? 
Are you waiting for everything to be perfect to give God thanks? Perfect or not, I continue to bless the name of the Most High God. What He has done for me, I'm grateful. Amen. And what He's about to do, I'm already thankful. I'm thanking in advance. My thanksgiving is going up in advance because he's about to do great and mighty things. It shall be manifested on the earth. And I declare the same for you that are looking in this evening. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, you shall receive the blessings of the Lord, which makes rich and add no sorrow. I declare the fire of God will fill you up. You will flow to overflowing. I decree that fear will not be a factor that you are pressing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare clarity for every decision. Yes, to those three people that I see with uh, major decisions in going forward in your life, uh, the Lord is saying, even at this point in time, I see somebody that uh, you're wondering about a vehicle I'm seeing with. If you should go into that investment, I really don't know you. At this time, God didn't show me the face, but he showed me. And with the finances and things are coming together in place. But I heard the Lord say, hold your hand. That's what I heard. You will know who you are. The Lord said, hold your hand. The time is coming that you will be able to invest. And even better is coming than what you have already seen something in your mind. And you're playing on what you want. The Lord said, hold your hand. Cannot say for how long, but you will know when God gives you the release. It wouldn't be for a length of time. But the Lord said, with that, just hold your hand. Everything is coming together. It looks like, you know, everything is gelling and meshing. But the Lord said, hold your hand. Uh, my brother, my sister, I do not know why God said, but what I am passing on to you is what God has said. Hold your hand. And I'm hearing it quite clearly. Uh, because when we move ahead of God, there will be consequences. Uh, uh, God loves us and he protects his children. Amen. Uh, so just as, you know, God wants to protect you, I trust you will receive his protection. Uh, so let us stand to our feet this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're giving God thanks. It's now 8.30 according to my time. And we just want to, you know, uh, close this evening giving God thanks. Uh, we bless his name. We give worship and adoration. We say thank you, Lord. Uh, with respect to those that have asked for prayer, uh, Campbell and Humble Samuel, Zenovia Campbell, and... Samuel, humble Samuel, we want to pray and for all those that may be needing prayer. Jesus. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Kore basoto kurumo sata. Reputo yorobo si yanama sata ikiti. Father, in the name of Jesus, even as the prayer request is in the atmosphere, we come into one anointed agreement where the anointing will destroy yokes and undo heavy burden. Bringing a release upon those that desire prayer, yes. I cancel sickness and I declare healing on that particular individual. And for the other individual, I declare a wind of change concerning their situation and even finances. Rabasata. That situation, even in the home, I declare cancellation in the name of Jesus. Even where it would seem that the enemy is stirring up trouble, I declare a wind of change. I declare a wind of change right now. I speak the peace of the mighty God. Father, every spirit of frustration, I cancel it. Every spirit of uneasiness, I cancel it. I declare supernatural intervention to bring rescue, to bring restoration, healing in the name of Jesus. I declare that through the power of prayer, the Father, wind of change. Wind of change. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Uh, Whoever it is concerning the job, for the shifting, you feel bound down with connection to a job, and even um, underpaid, you're feeling under everything is like uh, uh, underemployed. Uh, 
uh, even in places that you have worked and all of them, you say, God, I need doors that are open and that even what I'm qualified to do with perks and benefits, I shall have a good salary and uh, good perks, I'm declaring. In the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, I see more for a brother that's outstanding. I declare it so now. In the name of Jesus, receive. Receive. Yes, let the breath of heaven blow. Somebody is looking at me and you have struggled with vice. Satan has hooked you in some vice. And the Lord is saying, it's time to stop. It's time to stop. He said, I will help you, but it's time to stop. I don't want to go into it, but I see, and I see you also. The facial structure, I see. The Lord is saying, just like I told the man, son, thy sins be forgiven. I will forgive, and I will bring healing and restoration that you will arise and walk with me, saith the Lord, that you will be able to walk with Jesus along this narrow road successfully. You can do it in the name of Jesus. You can do it in the name of Jesus. Yes, you can. You can do it in the name of Jesus. You can do it in the name of Jesus. I declare it so. I thank God for you. And I declare for those that are tuning in this evening. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, just lift your hands, saints. Whatever your need, whatever your situation, I bring it before the mighty God today and this our day of fasting and deliverance. I declare every need is met. Every need is met in the name of Jesus. Every need is met. I declare you will endure your hardship as a sword soldier, but every need is met. Every need is met in the name of Jesus. Every need is met today in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I decree and declare, even in that area of that tummy, I declare your healing virtue flow also for that sister right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak to situation and conditions that are not. Sickness is not of you. And I declare by faith it is breaking right now. I declare, Lord. Lord, uh, your, your health is being restored as you release from the heaven. I just bless you. Father, even as this is a new phase, a second phase has begun today officially. I'm declaring for our nation and the nation. Uh, Father, even for our nation at this time, uh, I declare right now that Trinidad and Tobago uh, will not have uh, a resurgence of cases. Uh, I'm declaring right now, even, uh, Father, whatever the situation uh, that is coming up, uh, we declare in the atmosphere, Lord, even as you, uh, Lord, have waged war on our behalf and uh, our great intercessor, mighty God, uh, is praying for us, we are thankful. And we say, Lord, we are grateful uh, that it have not been like other nations. Uh, and Father, we bow ourselves and thank you uh, in saying, God, uh, we receive uh, what you have done with joy, uh, that it is well thus far. Father, we are declaring in phase two and the other phases to come uh, that there will be no resurgence. Uh, we are declaring what we are seeing in the other nations of the globe uh, will not happen in this nation. Uh, we are saying, God, uh, let your hand of grace and mercy be released uh, upon the people that they will make right choices, uh, responsible choices. Uh, Father, in their day-to-day -day activities, taking all precautionary measures, uh, but Father, remembering to honor you uh, for those that will serve you in spirit and in truth, I'm declaring uh, that they shall remember to honor you day and night. Uh, Father, 24-7, knowing uh, that you are great and you are awesome. Uh, Father, for the other nations that are tuned in, uh, the Caribbean island, the nations uh, Father of the earth, the United States, Canada, Father, and even whatever other nation I may not be aware of uh, that may view this footage, uh, I declare for their, their nation that there shall be a healing. That there shall be a healing. Uh, Father, for we know that some prophecies must come to pass because the stage is set even for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But we are saying, God, everything that is unnecessary to hit 
the nation and the nations of the earth. We are declaring God through prayer that your hand, divine intervention, will take place. Even as you would have used your prophets in New and Old Testament to deliver your people, we are declaring deliverance for the many nations that are adversely affected, for the young children that are dying. Father, for those that would have innocently come in contact Oh my God, even for the healthcare professionals, the essential workers, uh, Lord, whatever area, we are declaring God continued strength as they will continue to go on. Uh, I declare encouragement and strength for them uh, as they will perform their duties. Uh, Father, we say thank you, Lord. Bless the people. Give them strength. Give them strength. We thank you. And we bless Jesus mighty name. We give God thanks this evening. It's our privilege to be with you one more time. To bless the name of the Lord. We have had many praise reports as we have, you know, we have been praying for a particular sister with respect to deliverance. And uh, even in speaking with her yesterday evening or yesterday night, uh, you know, there is, uh, you know, a level of change. And we are praying for full deliverance, not partial, but full. Anything God begin, He can complete. Uh, we are trusting God for victory. We thank you, intercessors, and those that pray for those that have given even names. I'm saying, Lord, just have your way. And we are getting the report that we are seeing change. Today I got a report on one that I asked the intercessors to pray for this evening. I got the report. It is well. I will, I will send a message to you on it. And I'm saying, God, you are glorious and you are magnificent. So saints of God, let us put our hands for... All the praise you for me. Hallelujah. One of the things is that I do not know who would like to testify on Sunday, but let me take this opportunity. You can send me via a messenger your testimony or via WhatsApp for those that have my number. Can send it and we can make an arrangement if you want to do to the lighthouse admin team we'll make an arrangement to receive your testimony and for those of you that have prayer requests we will do the same those of you uh, that want the prayer request you have my number you can do it privately to me if not we will make an arrangement through the admin team where you can have an email also our email address yes you can send it through the email for those of you that may not be able to do an email because you're an elderly and you may not be able to function with that technology uh, through maybe grandchildren or children or a neighbor that can be trustworthy, but we trust God that you can be able to send it via maybe a WhatsApp or someone that you can contact with, connect with, uh, so that we'll be able to pray for you. Amen. So your prayer report, your praise report you can send in and also your prayer. If you are in need of prayer, we will do prayer of agreement. Uh, and uh, with the prayer, we are confidential. And those that I ask to work, I ask them to keep it confidential in those things. Sometimes you need, sometimes I will pick up the prayer alone, some things, and then sometimes I will extend to our intercessors because the uh, Bible have called them intercessors so that they will intercede. <laughs> Amen? So don't give pastor, apostle all the work. Give the intercessors some too. Amen? And, you know, where the worshipers will have their time off and all of that. Uh, this time, I trust God that uh, every arm of the church will take up that time to pray one for another and to also give uh, that encouragement. Be a witness and evangelize for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, my friend, this evening, it has been our privilege coming in from uh, Lighthouse Empowerment Sanctuary. We thank God for all of you. We thank God for the time that we spent with you. We love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, and we say, may you continue to shine for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, according to the word of God in the book of Matthew. And uh, we give God thanks. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. See you Sunday morning uh, at 8 a.m. Be dressed. Church will be on at 8 a.m. Amen. As I'll pass you tonight, even in the music, God bless you.